Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. We're catching up with McKendree football coach Mike Babcock following the Bearcats contest at home against Truman State University and coach. It was a nip and tuck ball game first half. The Cats only trailed 13-10 at the half. Uh, Truman State pulled away in the early stages of the second half for a 30-17 to win, but uh, lots of good signs on both sides of the ball. Let's go ahead and start offensively. Another solid uh, afternoon for Isaac Fisher. Not only did he run for a career high 87 yards, he became the Bearcats career leader in passing yards. Threw for 279 against Truman State, 4,355 for his career. He continues to produce week in and week out. Uh, you know, I, I've been impressed with our offense the last couple of weeks. They've, they've started to gel uh, a little bit. And, uh, you know, Isaac Fisher taking the reins. I think he's had a, a good couple games, especially this last game. Uh, he's a great operator, and that's what you want. You know, he puts the balls in the right position. Uh, he, he, he can make plays, especially with his feet when he needs to and uh, he definitely does some good things. Another offensive cog that uh, had a big afternoon. Now we talked about him early in the year. You wanted to get him some touches and got a lot of touches on Saturday. Cameron James, a career high nine receptions and uh, scored the Bearcats lone touchdown on a 23 yard reception. Uh, you know, Cameron's getting better each week. Uh, he's, uh, it was nice to get him involved a little bit more in, in the pass game a little bit this week. Uh, you know, and he ended up coming up and making some plays. So it was really nice to get him his, uh, uh, his first uh, reception touchdown of the season, and uh, nice to kind of uh, get it going a little bit and get some momentum in uh, in our favor. Defensively, I know we've talked before about uh, consistency all across the board. The Bearcats came up with some big plays defensively against Truman State, forced a couple of fumbles, which were recovered uh, to get the Bearcats the ball back. Brett Pierman had a season-high two sacks, was very active, and uh, A.J. Wentland continuing to perform well in the middle at linebacker for the Bearcats as well. Uh, I think each week the uh, defense continues to get better. Uh, I thought Brett Pierman had his, his best game yet. Uh, obviously, the turnovers help. All right, It's a great uh, change of momentum. and it gives our offense a chance to to score points and, and move the ball, and, and so I was very happy at that. Obviously, there's things to work on, but, um, you know, again, they're they're improving each week. Windy conditions Saturday at Lehman Field, I know, played havoc a little bit, especially with the special teams game, punting uh, uh, at times uh, because you're punting into the wind, didn't necessarily get field position you want, but Alex McMahon booming a season-high 56-yarder as well. Bearcats going one of two on field goal attempts as well. Uh, obviously, the, the one of two on field goal attempts is, is the one that's discerning a little bit. Uh, you know, every time we get in the red zone, we need to be able to score points. And that was a, a big reason why we lost the game, uh, was we couldn't just capitalize on um, our chances in the red zone and, and was only able to come up with uh, 17 points on the day. So got to get better at that, got to get better at the red zone and, uh, and uh, keep it going. Bearcats hit the road for two straight now in GLBC play, beginning with Saturday night's contest at the University of Indianapolis, the two-time defending GLBC champions, a team coached by Bob Bartolomeo, usually fundamentally sound. They're off to a 4-1 and one start this season, 2-0 and oh in conference, and expecting more of the same uh, from what we've seen in the past. Uh, very good football team. Uh, probably one of the best football teams we've played. Uh, all those coaches out there do a tremendous job and get those guys ready to play. And uh, the, the best thing about them is they don't beat themselves. They do what they do. Uh, they're operators on both sides of the ball. Uh, they've got tremendous athletes uh, everywhere you look. And this is going to be a, a huge, huge test for us on the road. Uh, very excited to, to get out there and see, see if we can do anything. The Bearcats after that. Uh, that will be the top three teams that McKendree has faced in the conference three straight weeks. Uh, I know you're not looking for a breather necessarily, but you head to Southwest Baptist the week after that, a team that McKendree's not faced before, a new associate member of the conference, and uh, not to look ahead, but uh, uh, Southwest Baptist, I'm sure, to pose a challenge as well. Uh, you know, just because they're not the preseason ranked number one doesn't mean that they're not a good football team. I mean, every, every team in the GLVC is, is pretty darn good. And I've seen tape on Southwest Baptist. They move around uh, pretty quick. Um, you know, it'll be a very good test for us. It really will. Uh, but honestly, right now, our whole focus is uh, Indianapolis and, and getting on to this Saturday and trying to do what we can to beat the Greyhounds. Coach, good luck at Indianapolis. Appreciate it. Don't forget, you can listen to the game live on the Bearcat Sports Network at mckbearcats.com slash watch, beginning with the pregame show 20 minutes prior to kickoff. And you can follow McHenry Sports through our internet website at mckbearcats.com.